forced us to stop at the line rider's shack. Come on, California, get that fried chicken ready. Uh, I'll get the stew. <laughs> hey, Hoppy, what's that horse doing here? Well, I don't know. What did you get on the doorknob? Now what did it do? It's all sticky. I wish you'd learn to keep your grease in the frying pan. Yeah, we're about out of matches here, California. Oh, I can watch from here, Hoppy. Uh, well, that's blood. Well, somebody's been here all right, and not long ago, either. He must have ducked out when he heard us. Well, what do you suppose he's scared of? I don't know. Nine injured. Looks like he was wounded pretty bad. California, you better get a fire start and get some hot water ready. Sure. Uh, uh, Hoppy, uh, Lucky, I better go. I'll go around the back. You look over here. Where'd I go, Hoppy? I'll go with Lucky. Shoot! Put your gun away. Lucky couldn't understand why the girl had fallen. He had merely fired a warning shot into the air. What's this? Now I can use that hot water I asked you for. And some clean bandages. I'll get them, Hook. Give me a hand with it. I wonder who she is. How would I know? She's looking at me. Hello there. Her eyes are blue. Who are you? Well, maybe I should introduce ourselves. I'm Hopalong Caster of the Bar 20. This is Lucky Jenkins, and he's California Carlson. What did you say your name was? I really must be going. Oh, no, you mustn't. You mustn't take a chance with this wound. California, get some supper ready. Sure. Miss, would you care for some... Just uh, get the stew and beans ready. That's all we got. Where are you going, Hoppy? I'm going out to do a little investigating on my own. I'll get my hat. You're not going. You stay here and look after her. You don't mind, do you? No. I want you both to guard the shack. We don't want anything more to happen to her. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hoppy, you ain't going into the... Yeah, devil's playground. It's almost midnight. I figured that whoever had wounded the girl might be hiding nearby and the Devil's Playground seemed the likeliest place to begin the search. Just me.
What's the idea of sneaking down on us? You got me wrong, mister. I wasn't sneaking down on you. I was trying to find my way out of this place. Where have you been? Someone hollered, boss. I got to see. Maybe it was you. I guess it was me you heard. Well, who are you? I'm Hopalong Cassidy. And what are you doing out in the devil's playground at night? Well, I might ask you the same thing, mister. Oh, yes. Martin. Judge Martin. This is Mr. Roberts and this is Mr. Wolf. Howdy. And this is Shorty. The ever faithful Shorty. He was very devoted to my daughter until... Until what? Until, until she was... Get out. Oh, no. We must explain to Mr. Cassidy. Perhaps he can help us. She... She shot herself. Well, why would she do that? Well, she... She wasn't exactly herself lately. Oh, I see. What does your daughter look like? Well, she's a brunette. She has blue eyes. She had on a brown divided skirt. Oh, well, I wouldn't worry too much about her, Judge. She's not badly hurt. You know where she is. I think I found her. Hurry, Mr. Cassidy. You must take me to her at once. Boys, saddle up quick. Shorty, you stay here and pack up. We'll come back to you later. Shorty, get going. Please, Mr. Cassidy. Uh, Mr. Roberts, perhaps you'd better go back and warn Shorty to be sure and put out the fire. Right, George, Judge. It was early morning when we reached the line shack. You been asleep? Never closed an eye all night. Not a peep out of her. That's good. Perhaps you'd better let me talk with her alone first, my boy. All right. Where's California? Still under the wind, I guess. No, no, there he is out there tending the horses. Where is she? Where have you hidden her? Well, isn't she in there? No. Where is she, Lucky? Uh, I don't know. I was sure she was there. Lucky! Lucky! We've been robbed. The gal's horse is gone. So is a pair of my pants and a shirt I had in the line. Why, when do you get back? Well, your daughter must have slipped away while these men were asleep. Gosh, I'm sorry, Hoppy. I, I don't know when I could have... Quit play acting, cowpoke. Come on, tell us where she is. Hold it, boys. I think they're telling the truth. I think she's tricking us again, Judge. Why, that sneaking little wildcat. Who does she think she is anyway, double-crossing us like this? Don't worry about that. She'll pay for it when we catch her. Gone. what kind of talk is that? Certainly strange, coming from a worried father. What goes on here, anyway? I don't know, but we're going to find out after a while. We'll ride in and have a talk with the sheriff. And we'll get ready. Uh, just a minute. You don't mind if I have a couple of winks sleep, do you? After all, you two had some sleep. Uh -uh. After thinking it over, I decided to notify the nearest sheriff of my findings. That's two blues, Porky. I'll raise your half a stack. Sheriff, can I see you a minute? Don't bother me. There's your half stack, and I'll raise your stack, son. I think you're bluffing, Daniel, so I'm just going to call you. Well, what do you got? <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> now, what's on your mind? I'd like to see you in your private office. This is private enough for me. Coming in, Daniel? No, sir, I'm cashing in. Speak up. What's so important? I ran into a Judge Morton and a couple of men called Robertson Wolf and a little fellow with all Judge that. Morton? What's he doing down here? What, do you know him? Sure. He's some solid ad. Old Morton was the judge that sent Curly Evans up for that Soledad bank robbery. Uh, you remember that, don't you, Porky? Yeah. Never did find the gold that Curly stole. Maybe they're down here looking for it. Keep quiet, will you? They say they're looking for a girl, Judge Morton's daughter. Why, Judge Morton never had no daughter. He didn't, huh? No. Eight thousand a week, Sheriff. Gosh, darn it, how can a man concentrate with all this chitter-chatter? Just what do you want? I thought it might be a good idea to bring those men in and question them. Listen, I ain't a question anybody on your say-so. Now get out of here with them crazy ideas and let me finish my game. Maybe the sheriff's right and we should tend to our own business. But that fella said the girl wasn't Morton's daughter, just like you thought. Yeah, and what about the gold in that, uh, what's his name? Curly Evans. I remember hearing about him a couple of years ago. He stole some gold and hid it away before they caught him. He never told where. Is he still in jail? I don't know, Lucky. There are a lot of things I don't know. For instance, what that little fellow was trying to tell me last night. 
Hey, I forgot about him. Maybe I can get to him before the judge does. what the judge sent him back here for. He was afraid the little fellow was going to tell me something. And they killed him to keep him from talking. Yeah, I guess so, the poor little... Hey, what's this? What you make it out to be, Hoppy? Well, it's a map of the devil's playground. What do you suppose it's for? I'm not sure yet. You boys load him on the horse, will you? Where are we taking him, Hoppy? To the sheriff, as soon as I make a copy of this map. After taking care of Shorty, I set out following the map. You know, this little spot on this map's been bothering me. I wonder... Oh, Hoppy, forget the map. That girl's in trouble. We've got to help her. Yeah, I know, but we got to find her first. That's kind of tall order, ain't it? Well, Not knowing where she's gone. Maybe. But I've got an idea she's heading for the same little spot, and that's where we're heading. What if we meet up with a posse that's out looking for the gal? I don't think they'll be looking where we're going. According to this map, we turn left right here. Look, Hoppy. She certainly makes it tough to try to help her, doesn't she? to help you. Message from whom? Shorty. Where is he? I hate to tell you, miss. Shorty's dead. Robert stabbed him. <laughs> oh, no. Well, you might try trusting us. Can I trust you? Well, if you don't, I'm afraid we're not going to be able to help you. Now, why don't you tell me what this is all about? How much do you know already? Well, I'm not sure of anything. But I suspect you're not Judge Morton's daughter. No. And I think you know where Curly Evans hid the sound of that gold. Yes, that's right. Why did Morton try to kill you? Because I have the only map showing where the gold is hidden. And Morton wants the gold for himself. That's a tough spot for a gal to be in. Not as bad as it sounds. I have... Well, I had Shorty. He used to guard me in my cradle. Well, he died for me. Has Morton ever seen that map? Nobody has except Shorty. When I knew Morton was after it, I told Shorty in case something happened to me. Yeah, and right now they're in Hoppy's pocket. That's all right, Lucky. Then you will help me. We won't leave you until you're safe and sound in the sheriff's hands. But I don't want to go to the sheriff. But he's the law here. He's the one to handle this. That's what I thought about Judge Morton. But I was wrong and Curly was right. That much gold will tempt any man. Not us. No, we'll help you bring it out. We oh, no, you. we won't. That has to be brought out legally. It belongs to the bank in Soledad. 
I was a fool to trust you. What is your connection with Curly Evans? Figure it out for yourself. I finally convinced the girl that I was her friend, and we set out to follow the map together. It seemed as though Judge Morton and his men had some ideas of their own. That girl and them cowboys. They're probably heading for that gold. I sent California off at an angle as a decoy. Well, they swallowed the bait. Somebody must have beat us to it. Judge Morton. I don't think so, but I'll investigate it. Lucky you stay here and keep your eyes open. that you were coming here to get the gold. Of course I was, to get your sentence cut. Now, what are those men doing with you? They're here to help us. Help us? Please, won't you trust me? I don't trust anybody. I've taken this gold myself. I'm going to make sure it gets back to its rightful owners. Curly, Morton and his men will be here any minute. That's all right with me. I've got plenty of ammunition, and I'll plug the first man that comes near this cave. Coming in. All right, come on. But tell those friends of yours not to try any tricks. Did he believe we're your friends? No. He's half dead and hungry and thirsty. His lips are bleeding. I've got to get him some water. I hate to ask you to do this, but there's only one way we can get him out of there alive. Will you trust me and do as I say? Papa, I'll do anything. Good. Walk into the cave. Stop there. Curly, she has the water, but she's not bringing it in to you. You're coming out after it with your hands up. There's probably no water in that canteen anyway. Yes, there is. Show him this. Pour it. back on the trail. Oh, we better get out of here and quick. Give me a hand with this gold. Sure. Gold. Gold. We got it. <laughs> we headed back to the line shack with Curly and the gold.
judge of these men were not long in picking up our trail. Two California. Just three, Harvey. I've got two. Miss, would you see if there are any shells in that closet? I suppose you understand I can't let any of you live and take chances on being exposed. Judge, the shack's on fire. Quick. Get the bull out. Get quick. your hands up. Drop that gun. I'm surprised that you're losing your head, Judge. What do you mean? Forgetting that gold coins don't burn. <coughs> the next time I won't miss. Get their guns, boys. California, put some water on those blankets. Hoppy, it's Daniel and the U.S. Marshal. The sheriff had notified the U.S. Marshal after all. Well, Morton, I see they finally caught up with you. Curly Evans. So you broke jail, hmm? Yes, he did, Marshal, but for only one reason. To return that gold he stole from the bank in Soledad. I see. Well, Curly, you've made one step in the right direction. You'll have to go back to jail, of course, but I have an idea you'll get time off your sentence for trying to return stolen property. All right, boys, let's make a move. Coffee. I don't know how to ever thank you. Well, I enjoyed it, and I'm sure California Lucky did, too, miss. And how could I ever thank you? Well, uh, the fact is, miss, uh, there comes a time in every man's life when he, well, he gets kind of lonesome. Sort of like a homeless maverick. Oh, well, you must never feel that way. You always have a home with us. Us? All ready, Mrs. Evans? Coming. Message. Surprise. You suspected she was married all the time, didn't you? No. <laughs> well, let's pack up and get back to bar 20. You homeless little maverick. <laughs> Cowboys rain. Hop along. 